Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. It's time for another episode of Top of the Shop, the series where we take a look at the best builds of the week from the Steam Workshop. Now today, we've got a crazy Wild Wild West saloon. We've got some really amazing cars, some tanks, guys. It's gonna be loads of fun, so let's get started. So, first up on the lift, we've got Heavy Artillery HA207. Now, this was created by Azzy, and it is a towed artillery. Now, the controls here, we've got left turn, right turn, vertical rotation, and shooting, and sliding supports. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Now, I've never actually built an artillery in Scrap Mechanic, which is kind of surprising. You'd think I would have made something like this eventually, but look at this, guys. This thing is actually really awesome. It extends really far back here for the rear support. Ports. Ooh, it looks like we've got some explosive canisters loaded up, and I maybe that's what we're going to be shooting out of this thing. We got some big wheels here and the armored front plating with the gun barrel. Now, okay, this I know my scrap mechanic, guys, and this is definitely not an actual functioning barrel, so I can imagine we're going to be shooting these explosives. So I guess I might as well just hop into the seat right here. We've got some buttons and switches. Okay, so one and two was left and right. Okay, so we've got like some tank steering there. So three and four are gonna do the vertical positioning of the turret. And if I remember correctly, five was simply shoot. Now what does six do though? Okay, six, oh, okay, so six brings those together so that you can actually transport it. Now let's see, we're gonna try and, I guess, shoot at the side of this mountain right here. Let's take a shot. Whoa, okay, um, I did that just blow up right in front of us? All right, you know what, let's try and Aim a little bit more to the side here. Aim a little bit higher. Let's try another shot. I think I'm doing something wrong. All right, so I just read the description. I tried to figure out what I'm doing wrong, and I don't know if I'm actually doing anything wrong, or maybe I have no idea how to use this thing. We're gonna try and shoot it again. Oh, there we go. Well, that shot worked. All right, so I don't know if it's like a consistency thing, I'm, all I'm doing is pressing the button, and every now and then it blows us up. Let's try this again here. Okay, there's a good shot. It hit the side of the mountain. Another one. Okay, that one blew up our barrel. We're gonna try again. Okay, there, that one's working. Let's just keep launching them. How is that even working? Are they going... Whoa. Are they going through the entire thing? Okay, well, that went through the entire mountain. And so did that one. Wow, this is insane. All right, so as he has another creation that goes along with that heavy artillery, this is a light armored artillery transport. Now, we're going to spawn it in here. Now, I don't think there's any explosives that are going to blow us up on this one. Now, how do we hop in here? We're going to just, I guess, hop into the back. We got the transport here for the troops in the back. Now, here we go, this looks like a nice armored position right here, that's for sure. But now I think what I need to do is hop out here. Now what we're gonna do on the heavy artillery is we're gonna shut the supports just like so. And I think we should be able to just hop into this transport truck here and back up to that hook area. Now I don't know how hard this is gonna be. This thing has tank steering. Okay, back it up, back it up. Okay, this is actually going pretty good right now. I think maybe actually, okay, I think I'm even closer than I need to be. I'm gonna press one, there we go, okay, we're hooked in, and I think we should be, okay, no, wait, no, it just fell off. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to try this again here, we're just gonna back up to that hook again, loop around. Now, it seems like this is how it should be, but it seems like it slips right out the back there. Alright, so yeah, I'm definitely having a hard time keeping this artillery mounted to the back of the transport, like, it will start to pull, okay, wait, there we go. Okay, we're dragging it. We've got this artillery now. Doesn't seem to want to fall out. Now, turning in this thing is rather difficult. There's some interesting tank steering going on right now, uh, which does make it kind of difficult to turn. And I don't even know what is, I guess, oh. So I think that this right here, is this kind of like where we'd have the ammunition stored? Okay, yeah, maybe, are those rounds there? I guess you'd have like ammunition stored here, and maybe you would put it into this thing. It's like a little sliding thing and the ammunition slides down here and then you would have someone behind the artillery loading it up from the truck. Now I'm not 100% sure if that is it or not, uh, but I think these creations are absolutely fantastic. They look really, really cool and I'm half convinced I think they're actually entirely made in vanilla as well, but guys, these things are powerful, they can explode, 
every now and then they explode yourself, but I think we might have the first successful run of not blowing up. No, I guess not. All right, so next up we've got Mobile Crane. Now this was created by Xerox. Now we were checking out Xerox's space shuttle build a couple weeks ago. Now this is a fellow Scrap Mechanic YouTuber. I'm going to leave a link in the description to his channel. He makes some really cool stuff. And this is the Mobile Crane. So let's spawn it in here and let's see what this is all about. All right, so the first thing I notice is it is extremely low to the ground. Look at this. I don't even think I've ever seen seats so low to the ground before in Scrap Mechanic. But we've got... This massive arm thing on the top there. I think there's even... Is that a seat up there as well? So that's like the uh, the actual seat to use the arm maybe? So let's see. We got driver's seat right here. We're going to hop in. We're going to try and drive around. Okay. It's a little slow going. Now I think this is uh, designed to be specifically sized to our little mechanics in Scrap Mechanic. One, lights. Two. Ooh, nice uh, warning lights on the top there. Three. Ah, uh, look at that. We've got a blinker there and another blinker. Now, I guess we could probably turn both of them on. There you go. Look at that. We've got our emergency four-way flashers on. And then five. Okay, five is like a very scary horn. All right, so that is driving the crane around. Now, I think the funnest part of something like this, though, is using <laughs> the arm. Okay, what the heck is going on here? We've got this crazy-looking seat. Let's try and just press some buttons. Okay, what is going on there? We've got some type of weird extender. Four. Nothing. Five is nothing as well. Okay, I have no idea what's going on in this seat. All right, so I think I have figured it out. I think there's actually like a control panel right here that you need to use before you even get into that seat. I have no idea here. Let's see, we're gonna press this. Oh, there we go, something's happening. The outriggers are coming out for extra support. There we go. Oh, it's even lifting it right off the ground. Okay, so now the supports are out. This one? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Look at it go! It's like all pivoting on pistons and bearings up there. Wow, that is so weird. Okay, whoa, hold on a second. Was I supposed to get into that seat? What's going on here? Alright, well, I kind of... I want to be up there at the top of the crane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this thing all the way back down. I'm gonna grab this switch here. I think, yeah, this is the switch that deploys the entire thing. I'm gonna hook it up to that seat. Okay, wait, why? Alright, so I have just reset the crane. This switch is now connected to the seat. So here we go, guys. We are now ready to become the crane in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at this. We are pivoting all the way up. We're so high up in the air. We're going even higher. Look at that, there's like, this is like one long piston on that back end there. Okay, wow, hold on. We are now inside the crane, and I think, yeah, okay, there we go. Using W, A, S, N, D, I think, or at least A and D, you can turn the crane from side to side. Now, it moves really slowly, and I think that's because this is supposed to be modeled like something, it's a bigger crane, but it's shrunk down to scrap mechanic size. So if you're moving nice and slow, uh, you kind of get that effect of being really, really high up and this thing being larger than it actually is. So now that we're up in the air, though, what happens now? So we press 2. Okay, look at this. We can kind of slowly inch the crane hook down towards the ground. Now, there's no real hook or anything down on it. Now, 4 and 5. I still have no idea what 4 and 5 do. I don't think they're actually doing anything. So this crane didn't have anything to hook onto or to hook on with, so I've added a little hook right here as well as a little weight. Now, I have no idea if this is actually going to work or not, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, here we go. We're going to try and hook that random weight that has real no purpose other than to be picked up by this crane. Here we go. Inch that in. Hook it on. Okay, we're hooked. We're pulling it up. I'm just going to rapid fire this button. Oh my god, it's actually... You can see the effects of the weight of this thing on the crane. We're just going to safely bring this thing back down to the ground. Just like so. There we go. And unhook from that. Can we do it? There we go. We did it. All right, so next up, we've got the Red Bull X 2010. Now, this was created by Ashman Industries, who is known for making some really nice cars in Scrap Mechanic, and I don't doubt this will be anything less. Now, it says here this is a replica creation. So I do believe Red Bull must have made some type of F1-style concept-looking car. I'm not sure if it's a concept car or not, but we're going to see what this thing is like, so let's spawn it 
into our world and see what this is all about. Now obviously the first thing you're going to notice is this thing is quite minimalistic. Like most of Ashman Industries cars, he doesn't waste any space whatsoever. I absolutely love these front fenders. They just look like they hug the wheel absolutely perfectly. Back here as well we've got these really nice hidden wheels. The back looks really awesome as well to say. And let's see here, we're going to hop into the main cockpit of this car and take a look at this guy. Wow. It seems like there's a combination perhaps of suspension glitch as well as steering to assist in the turning of the car maybe. Now that is an awesome first person view if I ever saw one in scrap mechanics. So let's see now. We're going to drive. Okay, this thing is definitely fast. I can hear some thrusters underneath us. It would probably serve better on an actual road or something like that. We're kind of taking a very fancy car off-roading here, but let's see, what does 2 do? Oh, okay, 2 is the headlights, which look absolutely awesome on the front of the car there. Now, like I said, Ashman Industries is known for making some really awesome cars. Some of the cars he makes are ridiculously complicated with a lot of features, but this one seems to be more about just the look of the car and making it look really, really nice. And in all honesty, like I said, we're taking this thing off-roading, so it does drive really well despite the fact that we are taking it on some ridiculous pathways here and i think i have just bottomed out on this little ledge well hold on here mr mechanic i can see look you can see the mechanic's feet hanging out the bottom look at that so of course guys if you're driving this thing and you run into a rock your own mechanic is going to hold you back because look at that. Our feet are pressed up against that boulder underneath us and it's no wonder we can't move. But in all seriousness, this car looks absolutely awesome. I'm going to have to go and look up the Red Bull car itself just to see what it actually looks like in real life. And no doubt it's going to look a lot like this. Coming up next, we've got the M455 created by Sergeant Magnetide. Now this looks like a really awesome tank. There's no description here, so we're just going to spawn it in and we're going to see what this thing has to offer. Now the first thing I'm going to mention is Sergeant Magnetide. All of his builds are completely vanilla, guys. There are no mods here. Now it does seem like there's a little spot right here on the top, which looks like it might be like glitched together in a weird way with the spud gun here, as well as the pipe, but you don't need to download any mods if you want to have some fun with these builds. But let's take a quick look at the outside here. There's all sorts of details, little tiny pieces and parts there. Look, even putting like tiles here as well, just to change the texture of the armor plating on the tank as well. But let's see here, how do we get inside of this tank? Now this seems like the hatch right here, so let's pop it open. All right, there we go, good guess. We're gonna drop ourselves in. Okay, so it does seem like there's no room in here. We're just gonna get right into the seat. All right, so let's close down the hatch. There we go. Now, all right, so what do we have here? We've got a couple buttons here. Okay, we got the spud gun on the front. Okay, you can see that shoots really slow. I'm pressing it really quickly, uh, but there is a reload timer on that thing. And then two. Okay, so two is the smaller machine gun there. I see. So in between the big shots, you would shoot your machine gun or something like that. Now, hold on. I am noticing something here, guys. I think I might be wrong, but I think there's like a whole bunch of spud guns like glitched into themselves up here because I think I was seeing some uh, some spread of spud guns in the distance there now I got to do some testing here we're gonna set up a big cardboard wall right there now I'm pretty sure there is a whole bunch of those spud guns stacked now the only way to find out though is of course to take a shot at this wall here so we're gonna line it up and there we go Okay, well, maybe uh, I can't tell from this close-up. Let's try a bit further away. All right, so this time I have set up some targets off in the distance there. Now we have three different planks of cardboard. Uh, so I'm going to try and take a shot at this close one. Okay, I'm going to have to aim up a bit. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, I only had to take the one shot to confirm that there are multiple spud guns welded together in that one spot. Because look at this you can see there are separate holes from each one. Now, this is all only controlling that top turret right there, so I'm assuming there must be a different spot maybe right here. Okay, no, that seems like it's like a trailer hitch or something like that, but there's got to be another way into this thing so we can hop into the driver's seat. Okay, I think it's right here on the top. Let's press that. Okay, there we go. We've got a little hatch that popped open. We're going to hop inside right here. Now, let's see. We've got four switches, so one... Okay, whoa. One is the left wheels. 
Two is the right wheels. Three? Okay, three, put the hatch down, and four. Four is the lights. Okay, that's really interesting. So if I press one, look at that. You can see the left wheels going. So we're slowly turning le right. And now if I stop and do it this way, we start turning to the left. Now I suppose together... Okay, so if you want to turn right, you just turn off the right wheels and it'll swing right just like so. That's a really interesting steering mechanism. Uh, but I mean, that's really good usage, of course, of being completely in vanilla. Now look at this, guys. You can see there's like a chain back here, like a shackle that just keeps swinging around. I love little details like that, actually. Those are the kind of things that just make a build for me. So overall, I'd say this tank is really, really awesome. Uh, it is all vanilla. It does have some modified pieces in the sense that uh, you wouldn't really normally be able to create it in Scrap Mechanic without modifying the game a little bit, but uh, for someone who wants to play with some pure vanilla creations, this is definitely the thing for you. Alright, so next up we're going to be taking a look at a Saloon fight. Now this is a rather large build created by Horizon25. Now I looked at the Steam Workshop description and it said, do not weld it to the ground. Now I don't know exactly why that is, it also suggested I should be on a flat map but I have some confidence here, guys, that this is gonna work out without any problems whatsoever. So, let's see what this saloon is all about. Alright, so here is the saloon. It's off of the lift, it's not welded to the ground, and let's just explore this thing. Oh my god, this thing looks absolutely ridiculous. It looks so nice. Look at this, we got a dude on a rocking chair. It looks like he's smoking a big cigar. There's even like a hardcore looking skull and crossbone thing right there. Oh my god, this is actually... This is hilarious. He's even listening to a radio. We had some awesome jams going right there, actually. So, um... So, I guess uh, we're just gonna go into the saloon here. Now, this is a saloon fight. It did say we can use our spud gun as well as our hammer. Now, I don't think we want to be breaking anything. Uh, but how about this? We're gonna put our weapons away. So that way they don't think we're hostile when we go in. So let's see here. Okay, I was definitely thinking that the doors were going to open for us, but you know what? I think we actually have to open the doors ourselves. Come on here, we're we're here now. We're in the saloon. Let us in. Whoa, whoa, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Give me a chance to breathe. Oh my god, there's like a big shootout happening in there. Oh, they're taking shots at me. Okay. We're going back in, we're taking our spud gun out. I thought I was going to be welcomed for a moment, but clearly that is not the case. Okay, here we go. What the heck? You, sir. I don't even know what to do. I am getting beat up. Oh my god, there's so much shooting at me. Hide behind the table. I can't, okay, I can't even do anything. Okay, hold on here. How do I destroy this guy? Come on. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? All right, I'm outside here, guys. I'm gonna try and take some shots at this dude here. I hit one of the lights. Is that what I'm supposed to do, is hit the lights? No, he's still... I'm taking his eyeballs out. I think I just broke his cigar. All right, so I've just turned the volume down because this is ridiculously loud. Uh, so we're just gonna try and go back in here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to get my hammer out? Come here. How am I supposed to finish this guy off? I don't understand how I'm supposed to make him stop shooting at me. Let's just try and get deeper in here. Look, this guy's got his arms up. He's already been held up. So can I shoot these guys and actually make them get destroyed? No. Do I have to take his... Like, he has a pink leg. Why does he have a pink leg? Okay, there it is. I broke his leg. He fell over. He's not shooting at me anymore. We're trying to... We're hiding behind this poor dude right here. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> but I need to use you as a meat shield. Okay, here we go. Okay, so is it all about shooting them in the purple spot? There we go. Oh. So they have weak points. And you have to break the weak point. Yo, look at this poor guy here. He's now missing an eye. Okay, I get it now. Uh, so let's see. What's going on here? We've got the bartender back here. Look at this poor guy. He's like scared. He doesn't even want to be here. But there's got to be more enemies in here, right? Now, look at this guy. This guy, he seems re relatively friendly. Why is everyone smoking a cigar? Is that... Apparently, in the Wild West, everybody smokes cigars. Okay, we're going to sneak up here. Okay, there's one last dude. Oh, jeez. What is he shooting me with? 
It's like a crazy laser beam. Okay, we're gonna try. I think we have to take out each of his eyes. I can't even do it. Okay, there's one eye down. Oh my god, good thing we don't have health. Okay, it's actually knocking me down the stairs. Come on. One more eye. It's. I see it in the smoke. There it is. Nope, that wasn't enough. Oh my god, he's pushing me right down the stairs. Let's try and get up here. Hide behind this barrel. Okay. Where's the final purple spot? Did we have to get even closer? I took both of his eyes out. Oh my god, this is intense. Let's run up here. He's in the barrel. Okay, yo, there's dynamite here. Trigger the dynamite. Let's get down here. Get to safety. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance, guys. Yo, that dynamite. Let's just try and get a little closer. Any second now. There it is. Oh, yes. We took him out. We did it. Now, I don't actually know if he was like the final boss or not. Look at this. This whole corner of the saloon just got blown to smithereens. Now, what do we have here? I guess this is like the inside. Uh, now, I don't mean the inside of the saloon, but rather the side of the inn or the saloon that is an inn, if that makes any sense. Okay, what do we have in here? Just another kind of, what is that, a bathroom or something, I suppose? And then another little bed right here. Well, we might as well make our way back down to the saloon floor. Now, like I mentioned, guys, I tried to come in here friendly. I put my weapons away. I didn't try and hurt anybody. And did you see how they treated me? They just started attacking me immediately. Clearly, I was not welcome here. Yo, look at this. Are these golden ducks? Whoever owns the saloon is pretty, pretty rich. Now, look at this guy, though. This is just the bartender. I wonder... I guess he's probably... He's just a friendly guy, isn't he? We can't really phase him. Okay, no, apparently we can take the eyeballs out. Oh my god, the fact that we can remove eyeballs is really weird. Well, guys, I'd say our job here is done in the saloon. See you later, mister. He's still out here chilling. This place is crazy. Honestly, though, you should definitely go check this out on the Steam Workshop, guys. There's gonna be links in the description to all of these builds. And, yo, I think this one is taking the cake for me right now. This is so cool. Alright, so the last creation that we're going to be taking a look at on the lift is Jeep Zane. Now, this was created by Zane, and it seems to be a really awesome, detailed Jeep. So, let's spawn it in here and take a look at this. So, this is a very detailed-looking Jeep, like even on the inside, guys. Look at this. It's all detailed on the inside. There is some really awesome mounted suspension here on the back as well as the front. Now we're going to be driving it around and we're going to take a close look at that suspension to really appreciate it. But one thing I want to mention is I've been loving Top of the Shop because I'm seeing these car builds and they are truly inspiring when it comes to the details and things that you can do to make your cars look better. And I'm learning a lot just by checking these things out. Like look at these things right here, guys. Those look so good in the back as like a rear exhaust. So let's see though, we can probably open the door. Okay, no, that's just an empty door handle. I'm guessing, you know what, they probably are like me where they don't put working doors because they rarely work anyway and they usually just get stuck and cause FPS drops. So let's hop into the seat just like so. We are now in our Jeep and of course we do have to take a look at our first person view. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about guys. This is a beautiful first person view. Look, there's even like floor mats. There's floor mats, guys. That is some next-level detail work, guys, on the interior of one of these bad boys. Now, let's take it for a spin, though, and get a good look at that suspension underneath it. Now, let's see here. We've got... Oh, yeah, look at that. The way it moves from side to side, it's actually extremely stable. Because, look, did you see that? We just went over that, and it didn't even phase us. And one way to really show how stable it is is by just trying to drive around in the tightest circle that you can. Now, if you watch here... A lot of cars that you'll see in Scrap Mechanic, if they aren't low to the ground, what will usually happen is they'll flip over from the sheer force. But just look at the suspension here. I'm going to actually try. Can we do like follow cam or something? There we go. I'm going to go under here. Now look at this. This is actually a really good view of seeing this suspension working like a charm. You can see it wobbling from side to side as well as up and down. Now I'm going to try and see here. Let's kind of stop it right about here and go in the other direction. And there we go. You can see all of the weight shifts to the other side and we start leaning. Like, look, this thing is pretty much leaning into the turn. Now, we do have some very, very convenient cucumber fields here. So I'm thinking what we can do, actually, is we're going to go down here. We're going to get a nice view of all that suspension working like this. Now, look at that. 
You can see we're bouncing up and down. The suspension takes it like a champ, and it really doesn't phase us whatsoever. We don't even like bottom out or anything. There's enough ride height right there to clear that, no problem. Now this Jeep does have a lot of buttons and switches, so let's see what they do. We got one. Ah, a little horn. Two. Two, ah, look at that. Two is like the gear shifter, and look, those exhaust pipes now look a lot more like thrusters to me, so they work really well uh, to give us a little bit of a speed boost there. Now three. Okay, now this is really cool. Did you see that? Those rear wheels just locked up. Now if we look at the back here and press it, you can see there is actually a locking mechanism. Now we've seen this in the past before, but this is a locking mechanism that basically puts the vehicle in park and you can no longer drive anymore. But we're going to remove that. Four. Oh, look at that. Four. We've got the big headlights on the front right there, as well as the light bar on top. And five. Ah, oh, there you go. Five is the emergency four-way lights, just in case you get stuck in the mud or something like that. And then six. Six is a great laser beam to the sky. Why, why is there a laser beam to the sky? All right, so I really don't know why there is a laser that points to the sky. Uh, if you guys know, let me know down in the comments, what do you think this laser means? I was kind of thinking maybe it's like a way to identify the color of the vehicle. If you wanted to color it and you're driving around with friends, you could know who is where. I, you know what? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so that is going to be today's episode of Top of the Shop, guys. Remember, there's links in the description to all of the Steam Workshop pages so you can get these builds and try them out for yourself. Now, guys, if you did enjoy the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for some more endless scrap mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanics. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.